Hello, Mr. Malo here, your online math teacher. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing my video series on two variable data, and in particular, looking at how we can make predictions using the least squared regression line. So if you find this video helpful, consider smashing the like button, subscribing, and let's go. So as you can see here, I have some heights and weights, which I have listed on a table here on the left. And we're interested in using somebody's height to predict their weight. So I have a scatter plot here so I can visualize this data. And I've also drawn onto this scatter plot the least squared regression line. So we can see just based on preliminary analysis, not any technical statistics, it looks like it's a reasonable way to make predictions. So the way I usually do this is I'm not going to make my students calculate this by hand. I'm going to give them the equation using technology or expect them to find it using technology. I do that in another video with Excel. So, and I have a video on how to do this in a TI-84. So, but if I were to use some software to calculate information, I'm going to get, I have a slope of this line of 9.2763 and a y-intercept of negative 454.12. So the first thing you need to do is you want to write what your equation is before you even make a prediction. So you can do this in two ways. First, you can think of it as an X and Y type equation like you would have in algebra. So if you're going to do that, you would use our favorite Y equals MX plus B form. But what I'm going to do, because that we are making predictions with this least squared regression line, I'm going to put a little hat on top of my Y. So he gets a hat to wear. So Y hat, as I would say, is equal to MX plus B. So your slope, which is M2 point or 9.2763X minus... 454.12. So this is one way you could write your equation. I will actually encourage many of my students not to use X and Y when writing these because that then you sometimes forget what these variables represent. So I'll tell my students a lot of times, put words there instead. So our X variable, our explanatory variable, are these heights, and we are using them to make predictions about weights. So what I would do is I'll, instead of writing Y, write weight and put a little hat over it and then write 9.2763. And then instead of X, I'll write my explanatory variable, which is height. So height and then my minus 454.12. So this is just a little notation. But really what you want to use this for is to make a prediction. So how you would do this is I would say the first prediction I want to know, what would I predict the weight is for somebody who weighs, or sorry, someone who has a height of 70 inches. So I will take my least squared regression line equation here and I will make that prediction. So I'm going to say the weight of somebody who is is someone who is 70 inches tall is what I will have if I plug 70 into height into this least squared regression line. So if I plug this in, and I'll probably use a calculator to evaluate it, I will get approximately 195.221 pounds. So my predicted weight for a person who is 70 inches tall based on my data is 195.221 pounds. And then I can enter that into my table. And you notice I put it in two places because I had two different individuals who were 70, or 70 inches tall here. So I'm predicting both of them would be about that same, same weight. So and you can do this to fill in your table to find all our predictions. So you can do this for all the values. So this is how you algebraically compute what your predictions are. And what these predictions in this table represent are all the Y values of points on this least squared regression line. So you've picked an X value and the Y value is your prediction. So 
all the points in this table represent the predictions or these dots which fall exactly on my least squared regression line. So this is how you would visualize what the numbers in these table are. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button and have an awesome day.